as a mint state coin. Errors like these are incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. It's not just a coin, it's a piece of numismatic history. And here's a kicker. This intriguing error sent recently fetched an impressive $504 at Stax Powers auction. What do you think about that? Would you keep an eye out for such an unique errors in your collection? Drop your souls in the comments below. Ever find a half dollar that looks like someone took a bite of it? Before you dismiss it as a damaged or useless, hold on a second, you might just have a valuable coin in your hands. Take this 1967 Canada half dollar for example. It recently fetched $125 at Stax Powers auction on July 24th, 2024 at Collector's Choice online auction. Curious to know why? Let's dive into details. This coin is a fascinating error piece known as half dollar with a planchet clip at 2 o'clock position. This type of error occurs during the blanking process when the coin blanks are punched from metal strips. If the strip advances improperly, a blank might be punched out, overlapping a previously punched hole, resulting in a curved clip on the planchet. Graded MS64, this coin showcases high-quality details and minimal surface imperfections, making it even more appealing to collectors. Have you ever come across a coin with such unique error? What will you do if you found one in your pocket change? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Have you ever stumbled upon 1982 Roosevelt time without a mint mark? If so, you might be holding a rare and valuable error coin. Here's a scoop. 1982 Roosevelt time usually features a mint mark, either D for Denver or, or P for Philadelphia. But in 1982, the Philadelphia Mint accidentally left off the P mint mark on smaller number of circulation strike dimes, not proof coins. This minting mistake makes these dimes rare and highly collectible. Now imagine finding one of these dimes graded by PCGS MS67 full bands. The MS67 grade means it's in exceptional condition and the full bands designation indicates the bands on the torch faces are fully and sharply defined. This combination of minting anomaly and high-grade preservation makes a coin incredibly desirable among collectors. And get this, one of these 1982 Roswell with no mint mark sold for a whooping $4,623 at Great Collections Auction. Have you checked your change lately? Could there be a hidden gem like this in your collection? Share your stories and souls in the comments below. And let's see who might have the next rare find. And don't forget to subscribe. Got a 1950 Lincoln cent lying around. It's time to take a closer look. Grab your digital coin, microscope or magnifying glass and zoom in on the S mint mark below the date. See anything unusual? If you spot an extra underlying S, then congratulations, you have unlocked a valuable penny. This error coin is known as 1950 Lincoln Cent with a repunched S over S mint mark. Check out this stunning red specimen graded mint state 66 plus by PCGS with 12 bidders vying for it. This rare coin fetched an impressive $378 and 84 cents in 2024 at a great collections auction. Ever heard of 1967 Roswell dime known as SMS? SMS stands for Special Mint Set and this dime variety is gem among collectors for its proof-like finish. So what makes this coin so special? During the years when the proof sets weren't produced, the Special Mint Set coins were created to offer collectors high quality strikes. This particular dime is graded SP68, meaning it's nearly flawless, with exceptional detail and eye appeal. But there is more, DCAM, standing for Deep Cameo. This designation means the coin has a strong contrast between the deeply frosted design elements and the mirror-like fields, making it a visual standout. Imagine having a coin like this in your collection. This high-quality craftsmanship of SMS coin is truly something to behold. And guess what, this dime sold for a staggering $10,068.75 at Great Collections Auction.
This is a 1968 S. Lincoln sent struck on a dime planchette, graded in Main State 65 by PCGS. The 1968 S. Lincoln sent struck on a clad dime planchette is intriguing mint error. Graded M as 65 by PCGS, this error occurs when a Lincoln sent is mistakenly struck on a planchette intended for clad dime, resulting in a coin that is smaller, thinner, and have a silver appearance compared to standard scent. The MS-65 grade indicates a well-preserved coin with strong details and minimal imperfections. Such errors are highly sought after by collectors for their rarity and the unique minting mistake offering a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of coin production. This error coin ended up selling for $528 on July 31st, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. And here is attractively toned 1958 D Roosevelt dime with full bands or full torch designation, graded as MS68 plus by NGC. Was a production of dimes plunged at the Philadelphia Mint? The numbers from Denver tell a different story. 1958 D dimes had a highest mintage for a D mint Roosevelt dime. To that point, this issue was saved not just by the roll but the canvas bag as well. The speculative market in modern, brilliant uncirculated coins was building rapidly after 1955 and it wouldn't crash until 1965. Gems are plentiful through MS67 and a generous percentage of full torch or full band examples um, has been certified. This MS68 plus graded superb gem fetched $1,695.38 at Great Collections Auction. So that wraps up today's episode, don't forget to smash like and subscribe buttons before you watch another video. Have a great day, God's willing, see you in the next episode.